Good morning, church. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Let us stand for the invocation, trusty of the deans. Once again, Lord, we come before you to tell you thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord, for another day, Lord, that yes. we never seen and never see again. Amen. But now, Lord, we're waiting on you to come into this service. We ask right now, Lord, that you come in and take control. We ask, Father, that you anoint the voices of the choir. Yes. And, Lord, Bless the speaker of the hour this morning. Father, we still ask you to come in because we need you, Lord. Yeah. And we can't do nothing without you. So, Father, once again, we tell you thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. seated in the presence of the Lord. Hymn of praise by the choir, followed by the morning scripture, Sister Rhonda Betts.
church. Good morning. The scripture will be coming from 1 Corinthians 15th chapter, beginning at verse 1. Those of you that are able to stand, please do so in reference to God's word. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved. If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I deliver unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve, after that, he was seen of above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles that that am not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. Yeah. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. Amen. The word of God for God's people. Thanks be to God. Amen. You may be seated. Morning prayer, Reverend H.B. Eatman. Shall we pray? Father, I stretch my hand to thee for no other help I know. If thou would go all that self from us, oh, where shall we go? This again, our Heavenly Father, we have bowed our head before the mother does. We buy for an eye shall show, not no full form of fashion. We bow and she said, Thank you. Thank you for the last night's sleep. That the guy in names of watched those all night long. Sometime early this morning, you behold another new day. We're going to say thank you. Thank you for you brought us from a long ways. Brought us through seen and unseen dangers. We are here behind the we clean the consecrated wall yes. just to call on your holy name. There's power in his name. There's love in his name. There's peace and joy in his name. Yeah. We call on you this morning and ask your Father, bless mankind everywhere. Oh, yeah. Bless those that are sick. Bless those, those that are in singing and sisters home. Bless those in the hospital. Bless those that are here this evening, this morning. Bless those that might be on their way. We ask the Father to have blessed the choir that sang in your praise and song. Bless the man that was standing in Johnson. Let him down in the storehouse of will. That somebody may come running. That's what I must do to be saved. That's in your name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Nobody amen. but you, Lord. Nobody but you Nobody but you, Lord Nobody but you When I was in trouble Lord, you came to my rest Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Thank you, Lord. Nobody but you, Lord. Mm, nobody but you. Nobody but you. Nobody but you. When I was in trouble, I was in trouble. Lord, 
but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Thank you, choir. Hymn of Adoration. true song has ever been sung. He's everything. I said he's everything. He's everything. Everything to me. Amen. Why don't you just raise your hand to the Lord and say thank you Lord for being everything. 
Say it one more time. Thank you, Lord, for being everything. Thank you, choir. Thank you, choir. He's everything. My, my, my. That's a sermon within itself. So if you don't carry anything else home with you today, take that. I said, take that. That he's everything. Amen. May we listen to our morning's announcements as we enter the fall and winter season. I want to encourage you to please get your necessary shots for your health safety. Please register so you can vote in the general election in November. You will need a valid photo ID. In person, early voting begins Thursday, October the 17th, and ends Saturday, November the 2nd. I want to encourage everyone, if possible, to do early voting. Don't wait until the 5th, long lines, something happening to the machine, or any other kind of excuse. Go ahead and get your vote in early. Amen. They, if you, if you, you can even get curbside voting, so it's no excuse. You just drive right up. And they'll bring the ballot to you. We're trying to alleviate any excuse and please if your neighbor said I would go vote but I don't have no way please take them please take your neighbor take your cousin take your fifth great granddaddy removed <laughs> we need you to vote we stand at a very critical point in history. There is a chance for you to be able to see history being made right in front of your eyes. So please, if you vote, then you will be a part of the history making process. So please vote. Please download the Zoom app on your computer for Bible study. Or you can call in on your phone every Wednesday at 7 p.m. This Wednesday, our Bible study will be Psalms 15. So I invite you to join us in our Bible study. Tar River Church Union will convene next Sunday at the Sandy Falk Missionary Baptist Church right down the road. The service begins at 11 a.m. There is no Saturday service, only Sunday service next Sunday at Sandy Falk. The Pastor's Aid Ministry will celebrate the anniversary the second Sunday here at 11 a.m. The Reverend Brandon Lucas will be the guest Preacher, and the mail course will render the music. This announcement comes from our dear president, President Darlene T. Eatman, and we certainly want you to be a part of their anniversary on the second Sunday. The Tar River Missionary Baptist Association 94th annual session will be held here at the Red Oak Grove Baptist Church, Monday, 
October the 21st through Thursday, October 24th. We have the programs. They are ready to be distributed to the, to the pastors. Monday night, you know, the, we'll begin with the musical being rendered by Bun Chapel Baptist Church. On Tuesday will be our business session and a training session conducted by Dr. James Pugh. Tuesday night will be mission night. President George Richardson will give our annual address. On Wednesday night, the 23rd, I will give the moderator's address and I certainly will be looking for all of the members of Red Oak to be here on Wednesday night for that occasion. The mass choir will sing and our ushers will usher on Wednesday night. So please put that down that you own for the 23rd. All of these services will begin at 7 p.m. and then on Thursday night, Moderator Hines will close us out with one chapel and he will bring the closing message. So please, govern yourselves accordingly. The Women of Purpose will celebrate their anniversary the fourth Sunday in October at 11 a.m. here. Minister Erica Tony will be the guest preacher and the mass choir will render the music. I have some thank you notes here to the Red Oak Grove Church family, the family of Dar Silva Lucas would like to thank you very much for the cards, flowers, phone calls, donation, prayers, and kind expressions of sympathy shown following her passing. Your support was very much appreciated and of great comfort to all of the family. To Red Oak Grove, dear Red Oak, this is Cody Tabron. I want to thank you for the scholarship that I received from you all. I deeply appreciate it. I am truly thankful to be in the position that I'm in now, ready to see what the Lord has planned for me next. Thank you all for your support. Love, Cody Tabron. Come, celebrate our pastor's sixth pastoral anniversary, October the 19th, 2024. Celebration time, food, fun, music, and fellowship. Time four to seven, where Elks Lodge, 901 East Birch Drive, Nashville, North Carolina. Tickets are $25 per person. And this is uh, Reverend Stanley, uh, Sidney Dunstan of the Union Hill Baptist Church will be celebrating his anniversary and they're having a special a banquet for him on that Saturday. Please govern all of these announcements in your hearing. I'm so happy this morning to have the Wednesdays with us. Amen. We've been praying for them and thank God they're here today. And let's keep Deaconess Georgia Wednesday in prayer. She had a fall a few days ago, but thank God she's here today. Amen. Dr. Linda Tabern, Sister Doresa Spates, Sister Doris Morgan, Sister Charlotte Tabern, Sister Melissa Austin, and Sister Diane Hinton. Please continue to keep Reverend Roosevelt Winstead in prayer, Deacon Roger Battle Jr., Brother Leon Tabern, Brother J.C. Morgan, Brother Frankie Tony, Brother Bart Tony, Brother Gerald Murphy, Brother Milton Lucas, and Brother Bruce Boyd Sr. Please keep all of these people in your prayers. Amen? Amen. We welcome all visitors who came to worship with us today. If there are visitors and you'd like to stand and be recognized, Please do so at this time. We are glad that you chose Red Oak as your place of worship today. 
Amen? Amen. It is now given time. Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, says the Lord of hosts. And prove me therewith, if I will not open up the window and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Before the ushers come, I just do want to say this about Sister Valley Howard. She is just as sharp as she can be today. And she's looking so pretty. And we're so happy to see her always. She's our oldest active member. And she was looking good, Sister Valley. Hang in there. God bless you and we love you. All right, come on, ushers. things come of thee, O Lord. Let us prepare for a very sacred moment in our service today, our Holy Communion. The Lord said, this do in remembrance of me, as oft as you do it, you show forth my death and suffering until I come again. Let us stand and sing. One verse of there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein and sinners plunge beneath the flood lose all that gives a stain. Let us stand.
us pray. Oh, loving and kind Father, we are so thankful that you have blessed us to come to another communion Sunday and service. Father God, we thank you for your son Jesus who went to Calvary, suffered, bled, and died that we might have the right to the tree of life. Father God, we pray now that you would bless this bread that represents your broken body. Make it worthy to be used for this service today. Then, Lord, we ask that you would bless this cup, which represents your shed blood. Make it worthy to be used for this service today. This is your servant's prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Jesus said, this do and remember for me. As all as you do, you show forth my death until I come again. But he left there with one special instruction. He said, before you eat of the bread or drink of the cup, examine yourself. For he that eateth it and drinketh it unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. And on that night, in the upper room, Jesus took the bread and looked up to his Father in heaven, and he blessed it. And heaven blessed it, he broke it, and gave it to each one of his disciples, and said, Take, eat ye all of it. This bread represents my body, which hung on the cross, suffered, bled, and died, that we may be redeemed back to the Father. On the same night, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to each one of them and said, Take, drink ye all of it. This cup, represents my shed blood, which is given for many for the remission of sin. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. One day, when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood that saved me. I know it was the blood sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Amen. Amen. Let us prepare now for the word as the choir shall come with the sermonic selection. The Lord has brought me through all of my trials, and when I failed him, he didn't cast me away. He stood right by me through all of my troubles. When 
and I was lost. He didn't let me go astray. He took my sins and saved my soul. Yeah. He cleaned me up and he made me whole. Jesus died on Calvary. So the whole wide world to see it was a great thing that he did for me. Oh, it was a great thing that he did for me. Yes, it was. It was a great The Lord has brought me through all of my trials, and when I fail him, oh, he didn't cast me away. He stood right by me through all of my troubles, and when I was lost, he didn't let me go astray. He took my sins yes. and he washed them away. Save my soul. He cleaned me up yes. and he made me whole. Jesus died on Calvary so the whole wide world could see that it was a great thing that he did for me. doctor he's been my lawyer he never left me oh he's been my friend he's been my comforter when I was lonely and when I was lost oh Jesus took me in he took my Save my soul. Yeah. He cleaned me up and he made me whole. Jesus died on Calvary so the whole wide world could see that it was a great thing that he did for me. Oh, it was a great thing. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was a great thing when he set me free. Oh, Jesus died on Calvary. Yeah, so the whole wide world could see. It was a great thing that he did for me. Oh, it was a great thing, yeah, that he did for me. Thank you. Lord, it was a great thing when he set me free. Oh, Jesus died on Calvary. Yes, he did. So the whole wide world could see. Ah, it was a great thing. It was. It was. Yeah.
Amen. Aren't you glad that the blood will never, never lose its power? Amen. First Corinthians, the first chapter, and the 18th verse is the text for the morning. This is what it says. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. This morning, for the next few minutes, I want to talk about Calvary's cross. The cross of Christ is the center of salvation. The cross is the place where everything about the gospel comes together. If you question the Christian faith and ask them one word, how does God save sinners? And the one word answer would be the cross. Since the beginning, Christians have identified themselves with the cross upon which Jesus died. Many love Christ as long as they encounter no hardship. Many praise him and bless him as long as they receive some comfort from him. But if Jesus hides himself, then people start complaining mm -hmm. and they start feeling rejected. But the truth of the matter, man was a sinner by personal choice. Therefore, Calvary became a necessity because man could not save himself. Do I have any witnesses? There was nothing that could ever deliver our soul from a burning hell. Therefore, the cross of Jesus became an absolute necessity. Thank God for his love and his mercy. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, mm -hmm. that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. If Jesus had not gone to Calvary, there would have been no forgiveness of sin. There would have been no deliverance from spiritual bondage. There would have been no comfort for human misery. There would have been no peace for the troubled heart. There would have been no cleansing 
for our blood stained hands. There would be no hope for our redemption. What was it that made Calvary's cross so special? It was special because of the one who was on the cross. On Calvary's cross. The son of God was there. It was that prince of preachers, the prince of peace, hanging on that cross. It was a lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, the fairest of 10,000, the king of kings, and the Lord of Lords. Jesus was flawless. He was holy. Perfectly blameless. And yet, the people crucified him. How could his friends and his disciples Forsake him. When Jesus was the one who blessed their children. Are y'all listening? How could his friends and disciples forsake him when he was the one that supplied their every need? How could they? When he was the one who dried the tears from their eyes. At Calvary's cross, the righteous will die for the unrighteous. At Calvary, the pure one will die for the filthy Mm -hmm. at Calvary. The Holy One Mm -hmm. will die for the unholy. Mm -hmm. The enemy is like Judas, Pilate, Herod, and the Pharisees, and the Roman soldiers tried their best to discredit your Lord and my master. But Red Oak, I brought you some good news. The good news I brought you, the enemy could not ruin his character. They could not destroy his kingdom. They could not diminish his glory. At Calvary, Jesus paid the debt that nobody else could pay. He endured the suffering on the cross just to save a sinner like you and me. And so the hymn writer asked the question, and it's an important question. The hymn writer asked, must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? And the answer comes back, no. There's a cross for everyone. And there's a cross for me. 
Church, the resounding cry is take up your cross and follow Jesus. And you will inherit everlasting life. There is no other way to life and in with peace other than by way of Calvary's cross. Go where you will. Seek what you want. But the safest way back home to God is through the cross. I want to tell you, Red Oak, that the cross is unavoidable too. It waits for everyone wherever you go. The cross means Christ crucified. It is the death of Christ that justifies us before God. The cross sets us free. Gives us courage to face all of our persecution. There is no sermon that needs to be preached more than the cross. This is a sign of man's complete dependence upon the grace of God for salvation and forgiveness of sin. So church members, at Calvary's cross, he died so that we could live. He died on the cross and our sin debt was paid in full. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin have left a Christian stain. But he washed it white as snow. I want to tell you this morning that you don't have any Christianity without the cross either. I'm afraid this modern day crowd has tried to bypass the message of the cross in a desire to be relevant and get more folk in the church. You don't even see the cross displayed in some churches. This new church age. Dress like you want to. Shoop up the music. Don't preach too much about the cross. And it'll draw folk in. The problem with that kind of camouflage Christianity, it won't save folk. Are you listening? There is only one message that will save people from their, their sins. And that is the message of the cross. Our text for today, Paul tells us, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Isn't it something about God's word that just moves you? Isn't that something about God's word that gives you strength when you're here? Isn't that something about God's word that lifts you when you're down? Oh! There's something about his word. Yeah. Romans 5, 9 says, justified by the blood of Jesus on the cross and saved from the wrath of God through it. Uh -huh. Ephesians 2, 16 says, through the cross, God reconciled man to man and man to God and put to death the enmity between us. Colossians 1.20 says, God made peace 
between us and him through the blood of the cross. Amen. Lest I keep you too long, one last point about Calvary's cross. Amen. At Calvary, mm -hmm. he became sin for us. Amen. At Calvary, mm -hmm. on him was laid the iniquity of us all. No wonder his burden was so heavy. No wonder his pain was so severe. No wonder his heart was broken. No wonder his face was disfigured. His body so weak. Because sin separates us from God. But the good news this morning. Christ became sin for us. After this, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished. The scripture might be fulfilled. Jesus said, I thirst. The scripture says, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. He bowed his head and gave up the goat. It was a day of suffering. But the plan of salvation by grace had been a long time coming. But now at last, it is finished. It is finished. Thank God for Calvary's cross. At Calvary's cross, there are no more sacrifices. Got to be me. At Calvary's cross, no more blood. Got to be shed. It is finished. I said, it is finished. At last, and did my Savior bleed. And did my sovereign die. Would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I? Y'all can help me with this. At the cross, I wish I had one witness. At the cross, I said at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I'm happy all the day on this communion Sunday. You ought to thank God. I said on this communion Sunday. You ought to thank God for the blood. Thank God for the blood. Thank God it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never, I said it will never Earthquakes can come, floods can come, thunder and lightning can come, but the blood, I said the blood that, that was shed on Calvary's cross, it will never, I said it will never, it will never, you ought to shout about that, it will never, never lose its power. Folk can talk about you, folk can scandalize you, Folk can set traps for you. Folk can do anything they want to do. They don't have to speak to you. They don't have to like you. They can even hate you. But the blood, I say the blood, the blood, the blood will never, 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 never lose its power. Thank God for the blood, the blood, the blood is what gives me strength. The blood is what heals my sick body. The blood is what makes a way out of no way. The blood opens doors that no man can close. The blood, the blood helps me carry my heavy load. The blood, I said the blood, the blood makes me shout. The blood 
makes me holler when ain't nothing hurt me. The blood makes me wave when I ain't speaking to nobody. The blood makes me dance when there ain't no music. Hey! 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 The blood! The blood! The blood! Yeah! 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 If you want to know the Lord, your precious Savior, I'm going to ask you to come. Maybe stand, please. Right there, quiet saying. Yeah, amen. Maybe yeah, stand. Amen. Let that be one. Christian experience. Amen. Let the church say amen. 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 When anyone comes and joins Jesus, we ought to be happy. We ought to give God the glory. Amen. This morning we have Jatasia Anderson coming to be a part of our fellowship. She's coming on Christian experience. She's already been baptized. We already have the uh, information. You know how y'all pre-order stuff? She's already pre-enrolled. All we got to do today is give her the right hand of fellowship. I'm going to ask the uh, ministers and the deacons and everyone else to get in line over here. And uh, Sister T, I if you play what a fellowship, what a joy divine leaning on the everlasting arm. And if everyone else can hear, welcome my ear. Now, before you do that, you've heard her request that she wants to become a member of Red Oak Grove Baptist Church. And she's coming on Christian experience. I'll entertain a motion that we accept her request. Been probably in a second that we accept 
uh, her request coming to us from Christian Spirit. You're ready to motor ready for the question. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Opposed and nay, I have it. So order. God bless you. We're so happy to have you. They'll come around and give you the right hand of fellowship. And after you receive the right hand of fellowship, it's just like you've been here a hundred years. No, no seniority rights here. Everybody's on the same level with God. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Church, say amen. amen. Say it one more time. Amen. amen. To God be the glory for the great and marvelous thing that you're doing right now in each one of our lives. Amen. Amen. She's already said she wants to be an usher like her aunt and grandma. Amen. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. We're going to get her a white uniform and put on one of these doors. Isn't that all right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I want to thank the choir today, thank the musicians, thank the ushers, thank Brother Johnson on the camera, and thank God for all of you today. Pray that you'll have a blessed week. There's only one thing this week, and that's Bible study on Wednesday, and then the Union Sunday, you got a week off. Amen? Amen. Amen. May God bless you and have a smile upon you. As you know, there is no benediction at communion. The Bible says they sung a hymn. They went out to the Mount of Olives. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen.